Put a new album. We need we need another revolutionary album to go where a whole lot of red is. Maybe pink tape. I actually like mansion music, although I don't think that it's like the same caliber of album. I don't think he was trying to make it like that though. Um, maybe maybe Cardi's next album because I have all of his. Actually, I don't have Die Lit. I don't have Die Lit. Cardi or Trippy? That is a good question. Um, Trippy feeds the fans more. I probably like, I like a lot of his songs and he keeps us updated. Cardi is, I, I love Cardi, don't get me wrong. I like his influence and, and his music, of course, but it's just, it's like I'm waiting the whole time, man. I like the lore of Cardi better though. And I think everybody does. Like that's the whole thing about him. That's why everybody's excited about his music. He's gonna change the, the game when he comes back. No dick riding. Trippy more versatile, sure. Um, I like Trippy when he like on the more Cardi esque beats. I'm not saying like he's st Cardi started because Trippy started working with Pierre first, I believe. He claims I think that he met Pierre before Cardi, or the reason that Pierre's working with Cardi is because of Trippy. I don't remember what he said exactly in a while back, but but yeah, when he's on the futuristic sounds, Trippy, I like him a lot. But Cardi's whole presence is just crazy. He's like, he's literally like, a, he's turning into a Kanye. I don't think he's there yet. I don't know if he'll ever get there though. That's gonna be hard. You gotta do craziness. Like Kanye's doing the whole Jewish and home, uh, you know Nazi thing. And it's like, I don't know if Cardi's gonna be doing that, but it might be a good thing that he's not doing such controversial acts because that kind of ruins it. It, it creates too much of a polarization of your fan base where like you actually lose fans like a lot of people could not defend what Kanye was doing even though they were fans of him whereas Cardi like he hasn't really done all too bad ethically or morally I mean of course people said like the deadbeat whatever but you really don't know you, you don't know it, she could just be a, a a mad baby mama right Iggy he did start an OnlyFans so you know she might not be up there although that is easy bread so i can't blame her but yeah but like cardi fans like they all love cardi there's no reason for them to not other than maybe they got turned off by him wearing more feminine clothes and wearing makeup but that's just like come on he's a rock star it's not like he gay although maybe he done dated you know he done he done dated i remember that whole controversy that was crazy well, if you keep feeding the fans, the food, aka the music, just isn't as tasty as it was before. Whereas with Cardi, since he starves the fans, no, nah, you're, you're completely right. And that's why he does it. Because we, we've talked about this before. Like when you starve the fans or you come back and it's always something new and fresh rather than just dropping mixtape after mixtape, which that is a good way to make money. Trippy probably makes more money in music industry than Cardi simply because of the volume and the size of his discography. Same thing with like Future and Uzi. However, I don't, I mean, at, at a certain point, we've talked about this before. What is money? Once you get past like a net worth of 10 mil or something, you can already get the, the nice house, the jet, the yacht, whatever it is. You got a label backing you. You can basically go wherever you want to go. It's what is being more rich. I think that once you get rich, the ultimate thing to do is to get more power. And what does Cardi have more than everybody right now? At least in like his lane, influence and power. That's why he has a label where he has artists who are literally on just by being associated with him. Now, I'm not taking anything away from them because they're hard, pause, but that's just the fact of the matter. And whenever he drops, people are tuning in and paying attention. Whereas a lot of people, like, they've got to pay thousands, tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars to break a record or to promote an album. Whereas he don't got to do anything. He just has to post on Twitter saying, hello, Twitter. So that, that's just the other strategy. Again, he's making less money uh, total, although he may be making more money per album. I don't know. Cause he lets them simmer a little bit more 
he probably makes more in shows though and merch so it all comes back like you got to think of it from a holistic view not necessarily just streams music wise because i do know for a fact that cardi fans are buying narcissist merch hands down 10 times more or or that type of multiplication than say uzi or trippy like uzi dropped merch for eternal take i'm not gonna lie to you that shit was homie you know that's homie homie so uh yeah i think i think that's what it is and that's why it's that's cool to follow and everything homie sexual is what i was saying bro homie shrexual yeah <laughs> step back to deadly says bro i got geeked up over a screenshot of a snippet exactly like what artist actually juice world has this like people are hacking his uh, old instagram account and playing snippets of leaks like i don't see that happening anywhere else except for cardi and juice they got die hard fans everywhere else i bet they would love that they'd be like oh somebody's you know they're they're spreading leaks like yeah fan artists get mad about leaks like oh my god i can't drop that and blah 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 well just the fact like you may get pissed about it but you know that your fans love you and that when you do drop your music's gonna do well so it's really just an indicator of you're doing it right you know it's like a girl tripping over being being jealous over another girl or something that you weren't even messing with it's like this is annoying but at the same time you know she loves me and I, i'm you know I, I got it in the bag you know 